feels funny to be back in this showroom because I used to work in this showroom in 2012 when they first opened. I'll insert some pictures right here from like the first week this place opened up. It used to be an AT&T store or like a, a cell phone store and obviously it's McLaren now, but man, I didn't see they had a P1 here. Oh, I know whose P1 this is. You guys remember this one? I think it's the same one. I actually shot this P1, I think, over off of Newport Bay. That spec is pretty sick. This is Nick Jones' office right here. So I was actually just going out this morning to go run some errands and to go to a few different meetings and also get coffee. And as I drove by here on PCH, I saw this car right here, the 720S, the brand new McLaren. I figured I'd stop by and say hi to my good friend Nick Jones and just kind of hang out for a bit. And I wanted to show you guys this car because in person it doesn't do anything over video as far as justice, but in person, man, this car looks awesome. technique to get cars out at McLaren Newport Beach. So fast forward a little bit further into the day, Nick pulled the car in the showroom and I had to come back because I had to go film some stuff, but let's go check out this run me over. Nick just said that it's to run me over because I don't work here anymore. Thanks Nick. Is that a sport exhaust on that thing? Uh, this one does, yeah. Sounds so good. 
Yeah, I know. They, they made a big difference going from uh, you know, first generation exhaust system. So from what Nick had said, these cars start at just about 299,000 depending on the options you can do. Obviously with MSO you can go crazy with carbon fiber options, color options, paint schemes. Um, you can pretty much go all over the spectrum as far as special features for these cars. Now this one I like a lot because of the flip screen. It has these see-through panels just like the P1. It feels like a baby P1 is kind of how I could explain it. Let's find these door handles. So right inside the door right there, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a little handle you press and the door just goes straight up. These radiator intakes are really, you know, something different where they found it was more, you know, they had more efficient airflow yeah. up top instead of having the radiator down here. Mm -hmm. They're able to move the radiator up here. So you have an intake down oh, here, yeah, intake here, it. but then this I-beam right here actually creates downforce on the car. Huh. And then there's 15 individual LEDs up here. So they can actually position the light and move the light with the diodes instead of having a physical mechanical part in there that moves the light left, right, up, down. Yeah. So now you have light that moves. Yeah, I didn't see and the radiator you, back there. And you have a much better view um, because before when you have like a lens here, the light hits and kind of dances around inside and doesn't really get a light out. Light out but yeah. having a very vertical lens uh -huh. allows more light to pass straight through. I was going to say the headlights look like big inlets. I didn't see the radiators back there. Yeah, yeah and then you have uh, the radiator outtakes are right here. So these are your LTR ducts. So these are the exits. So all the heat comes out of there. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, they definitely made everything functional on this car. Yeah, I love the glass roof with the doors. When you shut the doors, you have the... So depending on what mode you're in, you can choose what it looks like, huh? Yeah, that's correct. Just the same as before. So if you're moving it around oh, yeah. from comfort sport to track, it's also changing the graphics accordingly. The track being the most aggressive mode with shift lights as well, Formula 1 shift lights, just as you we saw on the P1 and now on the 570S. That's right. And then you also have the display horizontally right here. That's awesome. That sounds so mean. Yo. So here's your variable bit drift control. This is what everybody's freaking out about because now when you go into track mode, if you can go into like an ESC. Uh huh. So in ESC modes, then you can adjust the level of drift that you want the rear end to slip. <laughs> so you can manually control it. Yeah, so you can set it on on uh, track, and then if you're in sport, you have it settings for sport as well. <laughs> and then what you can do is you can go in through here to your favorites, and you can save favorites. So wow. if you want a certain amount of slip on Fontana compared to Thermal, compared to Spring Mountain, compared to Ortega Highway, yeah, you can go through and you can set all that so you don't have to go through and drift it next wow. time. You just have... You can store all your favorites. All your favorites can be stored. That yeah. is awesome. That's way cool. Yeah. Talk about full customization. Yeah. 
this has all been redone, revamped, so not only do you have that, but new navigation system, uh, new telemetry programs, this is all, graphics have been redone, much mm -hmm. easier to use. Much better than the 12C. Much quicker <laughs> processor, yeah. Thanks for showing me that. Somehow everywhere that I go, these guys end up being here wherever I am. If you guys don't follow these guys, these are the, the Bow Brothers. If you had to, if you had to explain in a nutshell what your channel was, because you have like trampoline stuff and you have car stuff. Instead of like what we do, it's like how we do it. We just okay. like have fun and everything we do. So it's a mixture stuff. of everything. So absolutely. Well, if you guys don't already, check these guys out on Instagram, Thanks, man, Facebook, Appreciate YouTube, a little bit of everything. Uh, Ten to eighteen. So if you guys are looking for a new McLaren or pre-owned car or even anything in general McLaren Newport Beach is also partners with Lamborghini Newport Beach So their inventory is huge and as I said before in multiple videos and in this video I've worked here for a few years Nick Jones is one of the best car salesmen and best guys in the industry um, He's so smart with these cars and he knows them top to bottom So if anyone does need a McLaren of any sort or Lambo Please check the description box below to see more information. Um, like I said, Nick Jones, the main guy to go to. Anybody who goes to see him, please say that you saw my video from Spencer Burke. I would really, really appreciate that. I'm gonna go head home. It's been a long day, a lot of filming, a lot of fun. If you can, check me out on Instagram at Spencer Burke and also at that photographer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please turn on that notification bell just so you guys know every time I upload a video you will get an email notification. Press that bell and also thumbs up and if you can subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace!